Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can fix your Rockstar Games launcher is already running on GTA 5. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, what I suggest you to do here, and for some people it helped, is completely turn off all the apps on your PC and uh, restart your PC. And after restart, uh, you restarted it, then try to run the game and look if you're still getting the same error. If you're getting the error, then uh, I will show you what you need to do here next. First of all, go and search and just write Rockstar Games Launcher, right click on it, open file location, then uh, right click again, and then uh, open file location as well. And then go to Rockstar Games and delete launcher, right? And after you do so, uh, another thing that you need to do here, it really doesn't matter, is on Steam or Epic Games, you need to go to library, uh, GTA 5 properties, and then install files, and then browse and then what you need to do here is to delete two files so gta 5 exe and then gta 5 launcher uh, i believe gta 5 launcher uh, uh, yeah gta 5 launcher and then what you need to do here is to uh, go back on steam and verify integrity of uh, the game files then should be two files uh, uh, we failed to validate and uh, it will be reacquired and then what you need to do here is to start the game and look if the problem persists right and if the game is running you're good to go and if the game is not running i will show you what you need to do here next right uh, looks like the game will run for me as you can see here it updates a rockstar games launcher and uh, uh, I just need to wait for a couple of seconds here. You can see here the game is running, but if it's not running for you, uh, what you can do here is to uh, completely close Steam. Uh, completely close Steam. It, uh, on Task Manager should be no Steam related tasks, right? And then you, you just need to go to Rockstar's ga Games Launcher, right click on it, uh, right click again, uh, open file location, and then here it should be. Uh, this thing and what you need to do here is to go properties compatibility and run as admin and then uh, once the steam is completely closed uh, press on the launcher patcher or on the rockstar games launcher and run through a uh, rockstar games launcher and the game should open up right so yeah that's pretty much it if i help you out please press like button and subscribe for more take care bye